Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Control. Um, I'm really excited to keep playing. It's been a while since I've been able to, so I'm going to have to relearn some of the controls, I think, but we'll figure it out as we go. Um, last video, we defeated Tomasi. He was some flying crazy thing, and it took me a few tries because I didn't really understand how to beat him at first. Once I figured it out, it wasn't too bad, um, but he was definitely like unexpected for me. So those will be fun, <laughs> I say sarcastically. Uh, we also looked for the phone for the hotline, um, and I walked off a cliff trying to do that, well, alleged trying to do that, so then I had to defeat Tomasi all over again. It was not fun. Um, and we ended the video in the maintenance sector, so I think we're going to be burning some trash, and we're about to talk to a security guard. So that is where we're going to pick up today. I'm really excited to figure out what is going on in the story. It's, it's kind of confusing so far, but I'm excited to see where it's going because it has me intrigued. I'm definitely hooked. So I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. Here we go, you guys. Alright, let's see. Um, how do I... Oh! That is not what I meant to do. Okay, that's the map. But how do I... Change my quest. <sighs> I think we're right here. So I want to do this one. Oops. Guys, I'm pressing hey. random buttons right now. Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Hi. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling it? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Okay. Why do I always do that? What's your read on all this? Hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about it, uh, about Ati, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits, but yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. 
detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. Hmm. So who is Ati? It was recommended that I read all of those um, so that I understand what's going on. When it blows, we're all going with it. Okay, let's see where we're going. The map never loads for me. And I don't understand. Blockages and pipes see through. F. Is the clock back? Now? Oh man, Adi is gonna be so pissed. It's really annoying. How am I supposed to know where to go? I guess we're just gonna walk this way. Coolant pumps. That's what we want. didn't help me very much. So I need to throw things at the guys on the ground and shoot the guy in the air. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. So 
I made this gun. The shatter thing? And I don't know how to do it. What is this? It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old trick pants inside the plant has a shit fit. Just rip things out of the ground to throw. Where'd this guy go? So... I 
never get old. I love it. Power fixed. Now let's fix the pumps and water flow. So where do we want to go? I'm in the control room. I hate this map. <laughs> um... Oh shit. They were talking before. They were, I didn't hear them. I really want to know how I can get in here. There's definitely something to do, but I don't know what. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. What? Oh, this place is gonna come down. Elevator. I don't know where to go. What's this?
The oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest in the oldest house, which acts as a blank. Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes, or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually, their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes blank in those who learn of it. So is actively denied. Sector elevator. I must need to take an elevator. Apparently not that one, though. map. I think I must need to go down to that yellow area. But I don't know how to get up there. Coolant pumps. Oh, coolant pumps. I see a sign. Holy shit, what are you guys? That's new. His charts display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused hiss resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The hiss charge is depleted of its hiss corruption after this eruption. The host is left light. So it's essentially a bomb. Okay, so I have this gun, but I don't know how to equip it. <laughs> switch to that gun? Tis the question. Energy boost. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. I want that. Oh, that's how. What did I just do? X. So is this like a shotgun? I don't know. Let's try it.
Oh shit. Get down here. I don't think I have anything I can do. Okay. Um, furnace chamber? I want the coolant pumps. We need to fix this thing ASAP. My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. He caught him caught with his hand in the fist trap. Get rid of him. What does that even mean? Okay, 
Okay, so where are my uh, health orbies? Come here. like thrown up on me. Popping pimples. so gross. Done? I think that's it. What? I don't like that sound. I don't need my girlfriend. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry ground horror zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. I already found that! Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Whoops. Too late. Okay, can I do this now? Let's go lift the lockdown. lockdown.
shouldn't be this way. Oh god, jump! Shit! <laughs> I can't reach him! close you guys <sighs> I hope this is taking me to the right spot because I don't know where I'm going When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. I should be going. This isn't where I need to go. Right. You gotta lock down the lift. I do. I thought it was in here, though. Apparently not.
this way. Elevator. That's probably what I need. <laughs> Control room. Yay for signs! but surely. Oh yeah, I've been here before. Cue the bad guys. Hey, where do you think you're going? This is what we came here to do. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Okay, but first... because I want to see what that does. Troopers are meant to be the first agents. Uh, heavily armored. I have access to the heaviest armor and, up and weaponry. So they're the heavies. Alright. Where do I need to go for the trash? I think I can fast travel. What's 
go here and see if that's right. If it's not, I'll just go to the other quest. Beware of named enemies. They're more resilient to damage, tend to have more armor, and their attacks can... Can what? How am I going to know? Furnace. This is exactly where I want to be. or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked, and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Oh, she gone crazy. Trash. What counts as trash? Guys, you crash. Did Aten barrels full of hazardous biological material? It seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations Those. for waste disposal, but if that's what Aten wants, then I'll get it done. Get this, the accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of the shift or a threshold or some fuckery. And that if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for a reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even have or use these fucking tubes if they spit our mail out in some other goddamn dimension? <laughs> Just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit. Throw it up there, take an explore.
notes. Can I get it from here? That's what that is. No. Good. <laughs> All right. Oh well. Probably don't want to jump down there. Okay. I think we have time to turn this into Emily. And then we will stop. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. 
What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. And the case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are test incredible, results? Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. But we just helped him. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for today. Um, I just love the game. I love our powers. I love whipping things at the enemies. It's so much fun. <laughs> um, I totally forgot all the controls, but they were coming back to me slowly. Um, I'm just having a great time and the story is like really picking up and it's really, I just, I'm confused, but I'm so intrigued. I just need to know what's going on. So they're doing an amazing job with that. Uh, overall, an amazing game. I would say my only complaint so far is the map. I hate the map. I hate the map. I hate the map. Partly because half the time it doesn't load for me, but also partly because I can't interact with it at all. You can't move it. It's stagnant. It's I, I, don't, I just don't like it. <laughs> um, if you have any suggestions for making it easier for me on how to read the map, feel free to drop those in the comment comments below. <laughs> I'm like a little frazzled right now. I don't know why. It's just a lot of fun. I want to keep playing. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one so that we can keep going on this exciting adventure. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.